hey, I told you I'd be back soon. And lucky for you, you are in for a treat today because this video is like the most summer 2019 vibes, but better and more psychotic. And I'm very excited for you to watch it. I need to kind of like narrate a few things in it because the like two week span that this video took place during was just nuts. So before I give you a little bit of a preface before the video starts, I do want to thank our sponsor of the video, which is SeatGeek. Oh, boy, does it feel good to have SeatGeek sponsor one of my YouTube videos. Guys, you know already how much I love SeatGeek. I don't shut up about them on Instagram or quite literally any platform. Summer concerts are obviously in full swing right now and I cannot get enough of them, especially since SeatGeek has all the tickets for them. If for some godforsaken reason you don't already know this, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets to any type of live event as simple as humanly possible. I have the app on my phone, obviously, and I am constantly on it trying to figure out what I want to take on next. There are so many good concerts and festivals that have been happening this entire year and specifically within the next three months, there are some crazy tours going on. I'm talking Harry Styles, Adele just rescheduled her dates, Lady Gaga's touring right now. I just saw Red Hot Chili Peppers, which you're gonna see me go to later in this video, thanks to SeatGeek, Silk Sonic, Kenny Chesney. SeatGeek has been my go-to website to buy tickets for like the longest time now, just because it makes buying tickets so easy. They always wanna make sure that you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, pay close attention to the colored dots. So the green dots mean that that price in that seat is a really good deal. And then the red dots kind of mean like, eh, maybe avoid this. But like sit wherever you gotta sit, as long as you're not sitting at home. And luckily for you guys, I have the hookup for SeatGeek. I have a code that gives you $20 off your purchase and the code is C-A-L-Y-N. Go make an impulsive decision and go see a show courtesy of SeatGeek and my code. And then also tell me what you're gonna go see because my DMs this summer have been flooded with you guys telling me what you're gonna go see. And most of my DMs have been you guys telling me that you're gonna go see Pitbull or Harry Styles with my code and that's iconic. So yeah, like I just said, you're gonna see me go to Red Hot Chili Peppers later in this video and I'm not gonna talk about that right now. So I'm gonna shut up about that. Now I'm gonna explain what you're actually about to see right now. Oh my God, if you do not follow me or Meg on Instagram, you missed out on the live action event of a lifetime that somehow Seeky could not get you tickets to. The only thing they couldn't get you tickets to. But a few weeks ago, Meg was visiting me. She was spending some time at home and then she was gonna come visit me and fly out of Vegas to come to LA, party and hang out and vibe with me for a week. So the day that she was supposed to come visit me, she's making her drive to the Vegas airport and all of a sudden there is a thunderstorm going on in Vegas. Now I didn't even know that thunderstorms happened in Vegas, but there Meg was about to get on her flight to see me. It was like 5 p.m. that her flight was and her flight gets canceled. And she kind of had a feeling that it was gonna get canceled because all the flights before her were getting canceled and like me and her were on the phone like freaking out being like, you need to get on this flight because we need to go to the club tonight. We were like dying to go to Poppy in LA and also I hadn't seen her since Coachella. So like the energy was high, the vibes were high. We had the hookup for the club and our plan was for me to literally pick her up at the airport at like seven, come home, get ready, pregame and then hit the streets. There we were updating you guys live on Instagram about how she couldn't get a new flight. And you know us, we're not gonna fucking let anything stop us. Me and Meg are nuts. So she was in line to talk to a gate agent about when the next flight she could get on was and I was over here scrambling trying to find her another flight to get here but there was no options. Before you know it, these sweet, sweet souls are in line with her, also freaking out about how they need to get to LA. And I guess that they had their flights canceled the day before and they were like, you know what? We have been stuck in Vegas for like two days now. We're gonna get a goddamn rental car and we're gonna go. And like, Meg, you seem like a person that we wanna help. So they offered to drive Meg. So Meg's over here live texting me, live calling me, being like, do I get in the car with these random guys? Like, do I trust them? Like, what the fuck? I was on FaceTime talking to them and everything, assessing the vibe of them. And I was like, Meg, I say you do it. Impulsive decisions, baby. Is this how people get killed sometimes? Yeah. Was this the smartest thing in the world for us to do? No, but we did it because we're us and we're done. But it worked out because Meg ended up going on this road trip for four hours with these random guys that she met in line and ended up having like the time of her life. And she was sending me videos of them like singing the whole way there, telling each other like their life stories. Woo! Where are you from? Kentucky, Kentucky boy. Kentucky. <laughs> Take me home, Kentucky. Take me home, Kentucky. Halfway through, I was like, you know what? They should come to the club with us tonight. So then all of a sudden we had a plan to all quite literally meet outside the club for like the first time. We didn't have any time for Meg to stop at my apartment or else we weren't gonna get into the club. So, so yeah, this vlog is about to start off with me and Meg reuniting at the club. And our plan was to go to the club with the guys who had all of Meg's shit in their car. And then after the club, we were just gonna go to their car, grab Meg's shit and then Uber back to my apartment. And then just be eternally grateful for these really, really nice men that helped us the fuck out and got Meg from point A to point B. So I'm gonna show you the clip of me and Meg seeing each other for the first time after this stressful, chaotic, scary day. <laughs> <laughs> But then disaster struck and we were told a thousand times that the guys were gonna be able to get into the club with us and the fucking dickhead bouncers didn't let them in. So after all that, all the extra driving they did to get Meg to the club with me and I had promised them that they were gonna be able to get in. Their Airbnb was like 45 minutes away. They literally got turned away at the door, which was the most infuriating situation of like all time. But they were so, so sweet. They were like, you know what? Like we're just gonna go back to our Airbnb anyways. We're here for our bachelor party. One of them was about to get married. We're just gonna go kick it because one of our friends has been waiting for us at the Airbnb for like two days. Have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow to get Meg shit from the Airbnb. 
Airbnb. And we were like, oh my God. We were so devastated to not be able to go into the club with them. But me and Meg just ran around, celebrated being with each other again, danced at the club for a hot minute. And then honestly, it wasn't even that fun anyways. Besides like the adrenaline rush of just being together there and Meg like truly sitting in a four hour car ride to get to the club that we just needed to be at for really no reason. And then the next clip that you're gonna see now is me and Meg going on a road trip the next morning to go get her shit in like the middle of fucking nowhere LA. And it's iconic as fuck, so here we go. Hello. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry guys. Random oh men God. still have Meg's suitcase and her dog's ashes are <laughs> I literally have my dog's ashes. They have my Xbox. I brought my Xbox. <laughs> I say they have your ex. <laughs> I'm like, what the Reads fuck? There. Is that? Oh my god. I haven't even started filming yet, but I know I've had to sit down and like explain what the fuck is going on by now. <laughs> so but, like, much. It's been the most wild 24 hours that I haven't even been able to like pick up the camera. It was just too much. But now, don't worry, guys. We're at a Dunkin' Donuts line. We're wearing the worst shirts humanly fucking possible. <laughs> These fucking things on. <laughs> Hey, don't be fucking mean to my prized possession. <laughs> I have nothing. This is all I have. This is all you I have. You don't have your dog's ashes, but you do have the margarita milk. <laughs> it's our moment. We gotta get fuel for the road. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> I want hash browns. I didn't fucking ask. <laughs> cool, tell someone cares. <laughs> what are you getting? I'm not telling you. <laughs> So mean. I'm not talking to you today. <laughs> Give me the silent treatment. <laughs> Didn't want to talk to you anyway. I just cannot <laughs> believe that these random guys have truly turned into the star of the fucking show. Yeah. <laughs> like, and now we're about to go get them. Oh, also, one of them is engaged and one of them is married. And Meg got invited to their fucking wedding and it's on her, her birthday. birthday. We're it's, going to the wedding. We are going to be in Kentucky for Meg's birthday. <laughs> I wanted to go on like a tropical vacation that week for our birthday. It's no, like all of our birthdays in one week. Yeah, no, we're going we, to Kentucky. We're going to Kentucky. <laughs> we are going to Kentucky. Would you want to know how they found out I had my dog there? <laughs> my mom was on the phone and she's like, you Where's got, your dog? She's like, You got Lou? Hold her tight. And they're like, What? And I'm like, Yeah, she's in my lap. And they're like, What? <laughs> It's my dog. <laughs> Wait, who do you got back there? Hold Wait, up a jar. Did you actually? You genuinely held up a jar. In a jar. Guys, check this out. I thought you were doing show and tell on your four hour road trip. Yes. <laughs> so good. It fucking ass. <laughs> this is the most bizarre road trip I've ever been on. <laughs> I'll talk to you when we're closer, because I gotta fucking drive. Give it over to this guy. Woo! Come here. <laughs> Wait, who's getting married? Oh, you? Getting oh married. my god, that is amazing. Yeah, 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 we're getting married on her birthday. That's crazy. My name is Hassan Green. It's Keith. It's my rap name. Oh my god. I'm gonna link his music in the description. It's the least I can do for them getting <laughs> Megan here. <laughs> Having my dog's ashes all night. Her mom was like, Do you have somebody? She said, Yes, yeah, she's in my fucking lap. <laughs> There's nobody else in that fucking car, dog. Yeah, just a loose dog. Turn around, she was drinking wine. You were not. I was like, is that beer? No, it's wine. You're a psychopath. I told her, I was like, we're not weirdos. Like, yeah. Get married. He's married. I was like, you know, whatever, Meg. Just go with these guys. Oh, like, whatever yeah, happens. I was the only one that was like, do it now. Get in that car. I know. Drive. I was like, I trust them with my I'll entire life. Then I looked on my story, and there's like 1,500 people. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Like, Where's the rest of the story yet? Yeah, oh, like, yeah. who the fuck are these people? <laughs> who did we pick up in this car? <laughs> well, you made it. Now we have new friends. Like, now we yeah. get new fucking friends. Like, we'll be in Kentucky. You can't be fake and act like you forgot the date either. Oh. <laughs> No, it's on your fucking birthday. So I told her your name and my little sister loves you. Oh, wait, really? Wait, shut the fuck she up. It's such a small I world. I was like, how you know your name, Christy? TikTok, TikTok. Hey, look, you see them on TikTok? Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's so shy. Oh. <laughs> Don't be shy. It's just me. <laughs> this will be an everlasting love for me. Small fucking world. Those so guys cute. are the best. He's like, I had the full LA experience last time I was out here. Guy smoking meth on the side of the road. <laughs> that would be the full LA experience. No, actually, it's not the LA experience you until you also smoke meth on the side. Of the road. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on right now. In that random ass car. <laughs> oh my god, they're off into the night. I feel like we're in a movie right now. We literally are in a movie. <laughs> Surely you're kidding. <laughs> Literally there's ashes on the top of it. Blowing in the AC. <laughs> I thought your dog just blowing around the rental. <laughs> like what the fuck? Can someone tell me why there's something on the menu called the Anderson Taquito? Mojito? Mojito? I don't have an answer. <laughs> Dude, you can't have diarrhea. <laughs> Get over 
here, man. She's never been talked to in her life like this. I have the AC on for you now. Over and out. Thank you, Meg. I appreciate your service. Over. Um, in case anyone is wondering, Meg missed her flight today. Not the cheering from the closet. We're going out again! <laughs> For the 80th night in a row. Drinking the Red Bull in my heart feels like I'm gonna have a heart attack right now. I don't ever drink Red Bull until the strip, and that's probably why. I'm like, why is my Oh my god, yeah, dude, I do not drink the whole thing. I drink like an eighth of it and call it a fucking day. We're just having fun. We're having a hot girl summer. Eating nothing but trash, staying up till six in the morning, getting <laughs> two hours of sleep every night. We need to sleep right now, but look at our shirts, guys. We're doing a full-on moment tonight. Yes, slut, do whatever you want. I'm a future fucking MILF baby. I don't even know if I want babies, but I'm regardless of future fucking MILF. We're going now, we look cute. You said to chug, you're not even chugging. I know, I need to. Oh my god, you chug more than me. Okay, ready? Here we go. Cheers. To the last night, maybe, allegedly. We can't promise that. Hey guys, I haven't vlogged in a few days and now I'm on a fucking ride with Jake. Me like picking up my vlog after not vlogging in three days. I'm like, I'm on a ride now. Meg left this morning. I'm at a Halsey carnival. Halsey. <laughs> I'm spinning. Liz is right there. I don't think I'm okay. Oh my god. I'm not taking your hand. You're Slay. There is a silver ray party going on later, and I am being dramatic and I'm getting my makeup done. So the makeup artist is here. My outfit is hanging up. She's ready to go, and now we gotta beat this face. Okay, guys, I have Liz here now. Hey, guys. We're ready to take on the night. As and sisters. we just know we're going to be told that we yeah, look like really sisters. Because we actually kind of do. Yeah. Last time I was on your vlog, I was like, are you guys allowed to cuss on this? Oh my bitch! Now my fucking bitch, motherfucker! <laughs> You're like, I learned some new words yeah. since the last time hey. I've been around. Seekeek decided. Y'all know me. I will go see anything and everything, especially when it's at a stadium. I am just here to vibe. I'm here to shake my ass. I'm here to get some drinks. We're gonna drink some beers. Oh yeah. I'm Wait. gonna I'm gonna learn how to twerk at the <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers tonight. That is my goal. I'm gonna learn how to finally twerk. We're out here to social 65 on top of everything. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh my god. Inflation, eh? Hey. <laughs> Inflation. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Dude, at least we're like somewhere early. Like people are still just parking. I've never been early to a concert in my entire life. And the one that I'm early to is Red Hot Chili Peppers. I'm here like hours early on accident. Caitlin and Liz just take <laughs> on chili peppers. I recently heard they are, they are around 65 to are 68 really? years old. Yeah. Well, we could live here with the sugar daddy if we try hard Truly, enough. Truly, we could. Oh, also we're on the floor and we're one of the last rows but aisle seats, which is Oh, music uh, to my ears because now we get to run around and dance and like yes. cause problems and it won't cause problems because we're in the aisle seats so we can do whatever the fuck we want. We get to just scram around. And that's what we do best. So without further ado, <laughs> I am going to find a hot dog. <laughs> I'm so confused. I feel like I'm in a nightmare. Like, what are those <laughs> back rooms? Like, I feel like I'm in the back rooms right now. I feel like I shouldn't be here right yeah, now. Yeah. This is so confusing. I'm like underground right now. <laughs> I'm not even So much and guys please make sure you use my code c8lyn for twenty dollars off your fucking purchase so you can have fun like i'm having right now and then after the show you can go to wendy's and get some food but i don't have a fucking coupon for that so you're shit out of luck one day <laughs> maybe one day it was truly a wild week and a half two weeks that's for fucking sure i hope y'all like this video i hope it made you giggle i hope it gave you some fun summer vibes and thank you seek for making this video and just my life even better make sure you use my code guys i appreciate every single person that does it means the fucking world because i'm so grateful to be able to have opportunities like this with Seeky because you know, you know, you know, you know how much I love them. I think my next vlog is going to be a little bit about me living alone now and city moving out. So I'm going to kind of end this here and I'm going to talk to you guys soon. Also, I'm reuniting with Meg again in like two days. So you're going to get another fun vlog from us soon and I cannot wait. Ugh. Make sure you follow me on TikTok, by the way, because I do a lot more live updating and posting there just because it's so easy and I'm kind of like having fun with it these days. So you'll miss out if you're not following me there. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. I love you all. Go to a concert. Rock on. Yep, yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay, bye. Well, you Tweaking if you thinking I don't speak out uh, At the Airbnb bring them freaks out yeah. I push horses through them hillies then I leap out Baby who the geek